Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, an interesting question popped up and I thought that would be a good um, a subject for a video um, because you might also be encountering this. So of course you we talk about antivirus from time to time. Um, you know I use the uh, Windows security it's enough and some of you use third party antivirus whatever you use is fine but the uh, thing is some detect or will actually tell you about things that others don't and one of the questions that was on the uh, in the comments was about uh, pups or potentially unwanted programs and I believe the gentleman was using a vast and he was mentioning that Avast had detected potentially unwanted programs that uh, Windows security was not seeing. And he was kind of curious about that. And the thing is, um, potentially unwanted programs are not often treated by antivirus as malware. And they're not technically malware. They're not technically the best wanted software either um here's the the thing about uh, pups and and where and how you can get them in general so um the term potentially unwanted program uh came from mcafee i believe they are one of the first antivirus company that actually used the word they wanted to use spyware but the companies that make software kind of objected to that term saying no 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 that's not you know, we don't want you to use that term. And probably for legal reasons, they kind of changed the name to something softer, which is a potentially unwanted software or program. What is it and how come do you have that and how come antivirus don't necessarily detect it and others do? Well, uh, some antivirus software will actually detect those and uh, kind of um, use that as an example of, well, my antivirus is better than yours. And that I've seen so many times, things that were detected by antivirus, but that aren't technically any danger or dangerous per se. And some, uh, so some antivirus will just ignore many types of potentially unwanted programs. How do you get potentially unwanted programs? Well, most of the pups come from downloads of free software. A lot of software, when you don't look at the license agreement, you know when you download something, a piece of software that's free, let's say you're downloading a new type of media player, you know, and it plays all the files that you want, you like it, it plays all the video formats, the audio, uh, but it's not something that's known, it's made me an you know, obscure name for a player. Um, the software itself might actually be bundled with other stuff and why they do that is for you know if it's free what happens is they have to find a way to make money off of it one of them is to bundle other things with it so they might have a agreement with another company that has you know one, one of the things that was very popular and i still remember in the early 2000s going to see and fix computers and have multiple bars in Internet Explorer, you would have tons and tons of uh, bars of all sorts that would do different things. And, and sometimes it would take up almost half of the space of the screen. And these were bundled with other software. You would install something and then you would have that toolbar that would show up in the browser. And um, today it's less of a problem in the toolbars, although it can exist, uh, but it can be adware meaning that the software you installed also will actually have software uh, ads pop up uh, because there's something in the computer that is generating those for many purposes. Uh, it could be, of course, um, collecting information. They could have something that just collects information about your computer usage, for example, for statistics. What happens is that the different types of uh, potentially unwanted programs um, can, you know, be a security hazard at times. Some, a lot of them are actually programmed real bad. 
and and could be a security hazard. It could be something making crash your computer. Um, many times, you know, when I say that 99% of Windows crashes are not Windows related, uh, one of the things that happen often is having, you know, potentially unwanted programs in your computer without you knowing it. And those were actually making Windows crash because they were not programmed right. And, of course, they can uh, be all sorts of uh, different things, uh, spyware, spying on what you do, and, and, you know, it depends on the software. That's why staying away from free software most of the time is the best thing you can do because a lot of free software, unless it is a well-known piece of software that everybody, you know, agrees is safe and, and, and good, is often a risk. Free software isn't free for you know, the pleasure of being free. There was time in devoted to programming it, to making the software and hosting it and downloading it, which means there's cost related to it, which means you have to, you know, if especially you rarely make software for the purpose of being free. Um, it's, you know, open source software might be there. Sometimes it's because you downloaded the software in the wrong website. You might have, uh, you know, taken the uh, time to download your favorite player, say VLC player, for example, but instead of downloading it from the official site, you found it at another site, uh, and then you downloaded it from that site, and uh, that site added something else to it. It can happen that a you know very good software that is totally free be bundled with something else on a a website where you should not have downloaded from. All sorts of things like that happen. So uh, the fact that some antiviruses will ignore these is because of the potential break that it could do to the software you installed. So for example, if it's a, a, a multimedia player and you suddenly have, say, um, an antivirus that says, well, you know, you got some potentially unwanted program here. Um, well, Windows Security might say nothing. Others also might say nothing. There could be other software that will say nothing. There could be others that are just going to warn you. And the reason why some ignore it is because if you uninstall the potentially unwanted program, it might break the main program you are actually using. So where rather than having a risk of breaking something, it will often ignore it. So it's not a, a an antivirus that tells you about them is not necessarily better than others. It's just that they've decided to tell you about what they know is a potentially unwanted program. But the problem with detecting and telling you about it also goes with the fact that you're not really sure if you should keep it or not sometimes. Uh, definitely, you want to have the least amount of those on your BC. But the thing is, um, sometimes it's not necessarily a problem, and you might be better off just leaving it alone if you want to use a certain type of software. But in general, if you download the... Um, you know, the good software from the, the websites where they should come from and maintain your PC with the minimum amount of, um, you know, third-party software because there's a lot of junk out there with potentially unwanted programs. If you install something new and one of your antivirus starts telling you about potentially unwanted programs or PUPs, well, maybe you should not be using that software because it's installing something else with it. Or make sure that you download it from the official website. That could be also another problem. But a lot of antivirus actually ignore pups. Um, they will often just give you um, a warning of some that are maybe potentially a big security issue. So they'll tell you, but they'll tell you only on the ones that they know are uh, a security hazard for you. For the rest, often they will say nothing. So that's why, you know, Windows Security ignores it because it's not part of what it wants to detect. And that's why not just Windows Security, a lot of antivirus ignore potentially unwanted programs. Um, and be careful with that because if antiviruses pop up of potentially unwanted programs, like I said, doesn't mean it's better. It just means that they decided to tell you about 
the things that other antivirus software is ignoring. And sometimes it's used in a, a way to try to um, kind of make you feel that that antivirus is better than others. Uh, so sometimes it could simply be, well, you know, oh, look at us. We're detecting stuff that others are not, and it's not necessarily uh, a good thing all the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.